Hi, good day. Today I'll be continuing the lecture on climate control refrigeration technology in which the second lecture we're going to be talking about will be the fundamentals of air conditioning and refrigeration and then that's the lesson number two. Lesson number two will be about the terms, definition and basic law of P6. In there, we'll be talking about the heat, cold, refrigeration, refrigerant, air conditioning, state of uh, material, the thermodynamics, temperature, measurement, heat properties, refrigeration, capacity of terms. Okay? First one we'll be talking about will be about the heat. Heat is a form of energy. Cannot be created nor destroyed, but can be converted into other form of energy or can be transferred. Heat energy can be caused to travel only by creation of difference in energy level. This is called heat intensity or temperature. And then the second one we're going to define is the cold. Cold little uh, energy levels or temperature compared to known energy level or temperature. Some definitions say it's a absence of heat. Okay? This will indicate absolute zero. Nothing, nothing we know of is no heat at all. Absolute zero is minus 460 degrees. Minus or minus to 73 degrees centigrade. That's minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit and then minus 273 degrees centigrade. And then we talk about refrigeration. Refrigeration is a transfer of heat from one place to another by changing the state of liquid. The application of this uh, uh, refrigeration is it can also be transferred in many other ways. As long as the difference in the level of heat energy temperature exceeds. Cold liquid can absorb heat from hot object. Or hot liquid can give up heat to a cold object. Always remember that. Hot liquid or hot hair can give up heat to a cold object or air. Okay? And then we talk about what kind of mechanical refrigeration. The definition of mechanical refrigeration needed only when heat energy is being transferred from one area of lower heat temperature to another area of high level. The definition of mechanical refrigeration is the use of work energy with mechanical components as arranged in a refrigeration system to obtain desired result. That's uh, the definition of it. The use of work energy with mechanical components as arranged in refrigeration system to obtain that desired result. Okay? And then we got one here, the refrigerant. The refrigerant is a chemical component used to absorb heat by evaporation or reject heat by condensation. Okay? The type of refrigerant we have, we got a R12, R22, R500, R502 and then R134A. Okay? 
No, this refrigerant will be discussed in greater detail later in this space of uh, lecture. I mean, the different module or lesson. The application. Many different refrigerants are used. Selection of the particular refrigerant depends on the system and condition it will be operated under. Air condition. Now the air condition is the definition. The process that cools, cleans, and circulate the air. Control the moisture content on a continuous basis. That means you cool the system and then you maintain the moisture. Okay. Application of this air condition that deals with the human comfort level. And then the state of the matter. The state of the matter we got solid, liquid, and gases. Solid matter is a solid state, retains its shape and physical dimension. Liquid, maintained in a liquid state, retains its quantity and weight, must depend on the containing vessel for shape. Gaseous state commonly called vapor state. Matter in a gaseous state will not hold its dimension or its density. Depend on a container for dimension and density. Okay. And then we will define matter. Matter, all matter is composed of small particles known as molecules. These are smallest particles into which any matter or substance can be broken down into and still retain its identity. Okay, and then now we're gonna talk about uh, thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is a big uh, uh, science that uh, involves, deals with the uh, refrigeration system because of heat transfer. The first one is the first law of thermodynamics. It's the science dealing with mechanical action of heat. It states here and mechanical energy are mutually convertible. BTU is defined as the unit of heat. One BTU is equals to 778 foot pounds. One BTU is equals to 778 foot pounds. To cause energy, uh, heat energy to, to travel, a temperature, temperature difference must be established and maintained. Heat energy travels downward on the intensity scale. Heat from higher temperature material will travel to a lower temperature material. This process will continue as long as the temperature difference exists. The rate of travel varies with the temperature difference. If there's a big uh, temperature difference, there will be a faster heat transfer. The greater the temperature difference, the greater the rate of heat travel. The differences in temperature between substance or material is commonly called delta temperature. Okay? And then how we measure temperature? Temperature measurement. Heat energy level measurement. Level of heat in a substance is measured on the comparison basis by use of thermometer. Two most common standards of measurement are the Fahrenheit and the centigrade. Temperature conversion. Conversion table is most commonly used to convert temperature between Fahrenheit and centigrade. 
okay? There are two other temperature scale. We got the Rankine scale, which is R corresponding, corresponds with Fahrenheit. And then we got Kelvin corresponds with centigrade. These are based on absolute zero. You just add 462 Fahrenheit reading to get the ranking. And then you add 273 to Celsius reading to get the Kelvin, Kelvin scale. Okay, now we talk about heat quantity. Now this one right here, we talk about now the heat properties. Okay, these are the heat properties that we'll be talking about now. We got the quantity, the quantity letter A, quantity different from heat intensity because it takes into consideration not only the temperature of a fluid or substance being measured but also its weight. Okay, unit of heat is the British thermal unit. Remember that, the British thermal unit. Because when you go to the advanced uh, air conditioning, you'll be talking uh, loads. Then they, you're gonna be using British thermal unit, which is BTU. Water is used as a standard for this unit of heat quantity. BTU is an amount of heat required to raise the Temperature of one pound of water, one degree Fahrenheit at sea level. Remember, sea level. Formula for heat quantity equals BTU. BTU equals to W times delta T. That is uh, in which W is the weight, and then delta T is the de difference in temperature. And then we're going to talk about specific heat. Specific heat is, is a amount of heat added or removed to change the temperature of one pound of the substance one degree Fahrenheit. Okay. Different substances vary in their capacity to absorb or give up heat. Specific capacities of common substances are, I got them here on a scale. I mean on the diet, on the chart right here. Specific heat, different type of material. Okay. Now we talk about specific heat continue. Formula for BDU with specific heat is equals to BTU is equals to W times specific heat times delta T okay over there you will you got delta temperature and then you got the weight okay and then you you add you multiply to the specific heat okay the specific heat of the substance will change with a change in the state of the substance. Example, water is 0.1, ice is equals 0.5, and steam equals to 0.48. So that means when you take the BDU, you multiply the the delta T times the W times the specific heat. Okay. Specific heat continued. Dealing with metals and the temperature of a mixture, different weight, specific heat, or temperature differences. Formula for calculating the total heat transferred of a combination of substance equals to BTU, and then you U is equals to W1 times the specific heat 1 times delta T1, and then you're gonna add plus W2 times the specific 2 times the delta T. Okay? Now we're going to talk about the changes of state. Changes of state, the principal change of state are vaporization, condensation, sublimation, liquefaction, and then solidification. 
Vaporization is a change from liquid to vapor. Condensation is a change from vapor to a liquid. A solidification is a change from liquid to solid. Liquefaction is a change from solid to liquid. Sublimation is a change from solid to vapor or vapor to solid without going to the liquid state. When a solid substance is heated, the molecular motion is back and forth. Molecules never move from their original position. At some given temperature for that substance, it will start to change its state. Okay? Make sure you, you uh, take my word. Okay, now we're going to talk about sensible heat. Okay? Sensible heat is the heat that can be felt or measured. It's the heat that causes a changes in temperature of a substance does not change the substance state. Substance in all states contain sensible heat to some degree. Actual physical temperature. Sensible heat is the actual physical temperature. Okay, now latent heat. Latent heat is the one that is very, very, very important when it comes in refrigeration. Okay, latent heat is the heat involved in either changing a substance from a solid to a liquid or liquid to solid without a change in temperature. Called latent heat of fusion. Latent heat and heat does not register on the thermometer nor can it be felt. There is no increase to or decrease in the molecular motion within the substance. Okay? Latent heat must be calculated in BTU formulas. BTU equals to W times specific heat times delta T. Just like I, I have discussed one before. And then if you got two of that, then you're gonna add plus W2 times specific 2 times the delta T. Delta T. That means you add them all together. Other types of latent heat, latent heat or vaporization. This is the heat liquid absorbed while being changes to vapor. Latent heat of condensation. This is where heat is removed from the vapor when it has reached the condensation point as it changes in the state. Okay, that's the most uh, that's the most important words you gotta you gotta remember because uh, in the refrigeration cycle that is very very important when the changes in the state of the vapor. Okay, and then we got the heat transfer, letter F, the heat transfer. Transfer will take place using one or more of the following basic method. You got conduction, and then you have convection, and then you have radiation. Transfer will have heat, uh, convection, conduction, and radiation. Conduction, conduction or heat between the closely packed molecules of a substance or between substances that are touching. Must be in good contact. When the transfer of heat occurs, movement of heat will continue in the substance until the temperature is in balance throughout the substance. The speed of the heat transfer will vary with the different substances. 
A well a substance conduct heat is a factor as well. Heat transfer can be increased through the addition of fins on tubing, just like on the condenser or the evaporator. Using the evaporator and the condenser. And then you got convection. Convection is the transfer of heat by flowing medium. Limited to liquid or gas. Refrigeration are prime example. Air in contact with cooling coils becomes cool and move more dense. Air begins to fall as it doesn't absorb heat from food and walls of the refrigerator. After heat has been uh, absorbed by the air, at, uh, it expands because becoming lighter. Lighter air rises until it reaches the cooling coil. Heat is removed. Process start all over and will continue as long as there is a temperature difference between the air and the cooling coil. That is convection. That means you got contact contacts of surfaces to transfer the heat. And then now we're gonna have radiation. Radiation uses waves similar to light waves. Suns raise heat the air by radiation heat waves. Heat from light bulbs or stove is radiant heat. Radiant heat is rapidly absorbed by the dark or dull material or substances. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the refrigeration capacity and terms. Refrigeration time. This one right here, refrigeration time. Refrigeration time is a term used to define and measure capacity. Amount of heat absorbed in a melting, a ton of ice that is 2,000 pounds over 24 hours period is equal to 288,000 BTU per day. Using the following formula, weight time is latent heat of ice which is equals to 2000 times 144 it is BTU per pound 288,000 divided by 24 is equals to 12,000 12, BTU per hour okay. one ton of refrigeration is equals to 12,000 BTU per hour Everybody understand that? I hope so that uh, you're going to be learning more about this BTU and everything that I explain. Uh, as it's really basic, but it's very, very important in air conditioning and refrigeration studies. And then the next one we're going to talk about is the humidity. It describes the presence of moisture or water vapor in the air to in the air and then we gotta talk that's humidity humidity describe the presence of moisture or water vapor in the air I repeat myself into that and then we got another one we call it relative humidity a ratio which is common percent of the amount of water vapor present in the air to the greatest amount possible at the same temperature. Warm air will hold more moisture than cold air. Okay, that's the uh, end of my lesson for now. And then uh, make sure you remember and uh, try to uh, understand this uh, 
This terminology because they play a very important role when you start going in the field. Um, I recommend or uh, that uh, since everything I'm giving here is lecture, I recommend if you can buy, buy a book at, uh, at Amazon.com about uh, modern refrigeration. Try to look in there and buy one. It's just cheap. And then you can uh, follow up on my explanation on my lectures about this basic uh, terminology that I have given you today. Again, uh, I'm just using it for training purposes and uh, I thank you very much and then uh, hope you'll be an excellent uh, uh, technician if you ever want to be. Since this is just a basic, if you think uh, you're just a beginner into the field and uh, as a high school driver you don't know what to do and then you encounter my lecture, if you decide it, then you like it, then you can. this can be your profession. But what I give you are just basic uh, terminology about air conditioning uh, and refrigeration uh, theory. I will prepare the third uh, lesson three. It might be uh, okay. Thank you very much again.